Saturday, May 25th. Tonight on The National, out of Africa, the airlift exodus of Ethiopia's Jews. Veterans ask Mulroney to press Japan for compensation. The National with Knowlton Nash. Good evening. Israel has more than 15,000 brand new immigrants tonight. And their story is one for the history books. They're the black Jews of Ethiopia. Just a day and a half ago, they were caught in that country's escalating civil war, a small, vulnerable minority fearing the worst. Now they've been given new life in Israel. They were brought there in an airlift of amazing proportions. And as Paul Workman reports tonight, their hosts could hardly be prouder. This was truly a massive operation, beginning on the grounds of the Israeli embassy in Addis Ababa. Once the final arrangements were made, the Israelis moved with speed, precision, and above all, secrecy. In less than 36 hours, the last remaining Jews in Ethiopia, two-thirds of them children, were on their way to Israel. In some of the airplanes, the seats were replaced with mattresses. Families crowded on the floor, few carried any possessions. Many had been waiting up to a year for this in a country savaged by both famine and civil war. Hello. Hello. For Israelis, this was an especially passionate moment. A 1984 rescue attempt, Operation Moses, was abruptly stopped before the job was finished. I feel a great happiness. How can I tell you? It's one of the greatest humanitarian relief operations of all time. One of the greatest, one of the swiftest, and one of the most successful. Operation Solomon was the sequel, an elaborate scheme that involved 35 planes, Israeli soldiers on the ground, and a practice run through the Ethiopian capital. You have to have a corridor in Addis Ababa at the time where there is curfew. All these operations were pre-planned. We had, an, as I said, dry run uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, we, our people were constantly there. Some details of the mission are still being censored, but Israel says it wouldn't have happened without help from the United States. For now, the Ethiopians are being kept in hotels. They will spend the next year in absorption centers, adjusting to a very different life. According to one Jewish legend, these are the descendants of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, the black Jews of Ethiopia. Today, they are also Israelis. Paul Workman, CBC News, Jerusalem.